Hi, this is John. Uh, I'm making this video to explain uh, how to use the Belt and Wood Seniors Google Drive, uh, how to make a document, and then how to send that or send a link uh, relating to that document to somebody else, presumably another committee member, to allow them to look at the document and maybe even to edit it. So what is Google Drive? Well, Google Drive is uh, rather similar to a hard drive on your computer, but this one happens to sit in the cloud, as it's called these days, i.e. on a large computer somewhere in the, uh, in the ether. Uh, Belton Woods has a portion of that drive to itself, and the advantages of using it are that you can uh, leave documents there, other people can access them so they're there as they're backed up, they're there permanently so if your own computer goes on the blink or one of us decides to go under a bus uh, it doesn't matter because the documents are available elsewhere for other people taking over the job uh, to view them and deal with them. So uh, how do we get to Google Drive? Well, this is my desktop. Uh, it may not look like yours. Uh, that doesn't really matter, but this is a Linux desktop. Um, all you need to do is open up your browser. Now, uh, that is something like Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Uh, if you're using a Mac, it might be Safari. And there's also Opera, which is um, a browser. Now I use Google Chrome and I get to mine like this um, and it will open up an, on a default page uh, which in my case happens to be the BBC News uh, cross that off, right ok so there's my default page now um, if uh, to get to Google Drive you have to go to www.google.co.uk and the problem with that is is by default your own browser will have kept some information that uh, if you started to type google.co.uk if you have a google mail account of your own in your own name it will head off in that direction rather than to Belton Wood Seniors so to deal with that um, in the easiest way uh, is to open up another uh, tab in uh, your browser. Now in the Google Chrome uh, the way to do it is to press Control Shift and N for no one which I'll do and what you see here is what's called an incognito page so it's a page that doesn't have doesn't keep any history in it as it if you can read what it says on there it doesn't keep any browser history search history cookies or anything like that so that means it doesn't go off to your own named Gmail account, it sits there waiting for you to put the full information in. Uh, now if you're using a different browser than Google Chrome, it might not be called incognito, it might be called private browsing or whatever, but the way you get to your one is if you go to your settings, usually some sort of uh, cog or something at the top right hand corner, click on it, you'll probably find tools or something along those lines and one of those will, well in fact you can see here new incognito window, can you see? so your own browser will have something very very similar it may not be incognito, it might just be private browsing or words to that effect so I'm in uh, uh, my incognito browser I now have to go to www google.co.uk and there we go and then I'm invited to sign in at the top right here so I press the sign in and we need to put an email well all we need to do here is to put BW seniors okay and then in the password well we all should know what that is so I put that in and I sign in Okay, so I'm now into Belton Wood Scene. As you can see up here, it says plus Belton W. I'm into their Google account. 
if I wanted to use the email facility there, the Gmail for Belton Woods, I can go using that little button. But I want to get to the drive. Now, you can see these separate little boxes, uh, spots. If I click on that, one of the options is drive. So I click on drive. And up comes a list of folders and files, not too dissimilar to what appears on your own hard drive. If I go to my drive and uncollapse that, you can see I have several folders here marked for the use of various members of the committee. And if we clicked on those folders, like this one, we can now see there's the captain's ones, there's the handicap secretary's ones, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we're in the drive. Now, the beauty of Google Drive is it has a, an office type program. So rather like Microsoft Office, it has something similar uh, called Google Documents or Google Spreadsheets. And the way we get to those is up the top left here called Create. I click on Create, I can create a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, a drawing or whatever. So for this I'm going to create a new document. I click on document and what you'll see is something not too far removed to something you'd find on Microsoft Word or whatever the Word program is you use on your computer. So we're ready to type and I shall type uh, a test document. Right, okay. So I can put a load of other blurb in here. Anyway, so I've finished my document and I now want to send it to somebody else, one of the other committee members. But first of all, I have to give it a title. So up here, Untitled Document, I click on that and I'm now prompted to give it a name. So I'll call it Test Doc and press OK. So now the document you can see at the top left is called Test Doc. By the way, it automatically saves as you go along. So as you keep typing, it's constantly saving itself. So you can see all changes are saved. Okay, now I need to um, share it. Now the top right, you can see the share button, but you can also see that when I hover over it, it says private to only me. So I need to change that. So if I click on the share button, I'm then given a link at the top right, top of that this box. It says link to share, and by default, it's already uh, been chosen. So there's a long um, web address here, which effectively is the web address of the document itself. If I right-click on it, I can copy that link, which I do. So that's copied into my computer's temporary memory. Uh, so I'm done with this now. I have a link to the document. I can press done. I can now close down my incognito tabs, which I do, and I'm back to my own uh, tab. All right. Um, now, I now need to open my mail program, and you will all do that in your own different ways. So you open your mail program. In my case, I just do this. And that pops my mail program. There it is. So uh, you then go to create a new email, or in my case, I compose. That comes a box. So I now choose who to send it to, and I'll type Tony Donnelly and give it a subject name of test. Come down here. Here's uh, whoops, the file I promise. Now, if I right click here, I'm now, I can now paste that link that I saved into temporary memory. There it is. Um, so, John. Right, so now if I send that to Tony, he will get this email, he will get this link here, which he can just click on and it will take him off to the document so he can then view it, print it out, uh, do whatever he likes with it. Okay, so that's how to uh, get into Google Drive of Beltman Seniors, how to create a new document, and how to send a link to that document to somebody else. Um, okay, hope that was uh, useful.